All right, it's morning. Bright and early. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So we're all in Papa Dar's truck and we are going on a road trip. Oregon bound, like 13 hours worth of drive and that's gonna be fun. But the end product is gonna be worth it, so here we go. No, Ready or not, here we come, <laughs> Oregon. All right, so uh, we're in the big city now of Cedar City. One hour into this journey, only 12 more to go. We're going to head on over to Maverick and get us some breakfast. Yep, and then out into the Nevada nothingness. We just stopped at Maverick. Dar's got himself a breakfast burrito. Paul's got himself a skillet and a map. We have officially made it to another city, Panaka. A big one. It's a giant city. We're currently about to leave it now. It's been 30 seconds. <laughs> so. Hey, it's bigger than Glendale. We're making tracks. Only 11 and a half more hours. Right, Jill? I think so. Yeah. Unless something bad happens. Way to think positive. <laughs> hey, Dar knew it. We need him to focus. Well, okay. When he comes over this hill, we'll be all right. We're currently um, about um, to die. We was only going 100 miles an hour. Okay. <laughs> just gotta do that. Woo! Dar, it's about time. We were behind some slow people for about, I don't know, half an hour, a good half hour. Yeah. We had a straight stretch and we took them, didn't we, Dar? We did. And so we're currently 208 miles into this trip. Papa Dark hasn't even fallen asleep yet, so we're doing good. So, lots of just driving left. All right, we are in another big city, rolling in. It's we're, uh, potty break time. Yeah, we're in the town of Ely, so we're making progress. Bathroom break number two. All right, we're switching <laughs> driving positions here. Paul's taking over. Dar can have a nap now. And we're off. Away we go. Hey, Dar. Yeah? Can we talk about your big gulps cup? What about it? Lift it up. It's seasoned. <laughs> it's been around the block a time or two. I just told Dar it was about time. He probably should get a new big gold cup. It's it's already seasoned in. But then he told me that it's like vintage. Apparently it's old. Yeah, they don't make this one anymore. Yeah, we can't throw that away. We gotta keep that. <laughs> big gold, eh? Well, see you later. See you later. <laughs> Downtown Eureka. Eureka. <laughs> we just made it into Eureka. Gold at last. Hey, this is where I've we been here once little, other. Uh, Right yeah, exactly. There's the museum. Stop number two. Stop number two. We're gonna find some food. Carlin. We're in Carlin, Nevada, currently. Yep. Time for lunch. Uh, Subway today. Italian urban cheese. Yours okay. Is a, yours is a flatbread. We're know. gonna go ahead and eat in the truck today, cause. The chairs were up and there's nowhere to sit. Story of our lives, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, update. Six hours and 57 minutes in. How many miles? Uh, almost 500. We're headed north now. What Nevada freeways look like. Update. Update. How many miles? 609. Me and Randall were just having a beautiful duet. It's been a long ride. So we're officially in Oregon now. So we're gaining. All right. So we're 706 miles into this trip, like 10 hours of driving. And You're so peppy right now. Yeah, I know. It's been forever. It's <laughs> dark like it was when we started. So we're going to go tell Bend, Oregon, 
that's where we're camping tonight we'll update you when we get there yeah no cell service so we don't know where we're at for sure we're in uh burns oregon i guess looking a little rough we just had our gas pump we're in oregon that was kind of odd it. having someone pump my own gas but we're on to our motel now we currently made it to bend oregon it's cold and it's icy and i thought we were gonna die a few times but all stellar close. skills one name close yeah. we're gonna go eat some hibachi we're gonna get to, uh, some sushi at this nice place don't slip <laughs> may come as a shock to you guys, but I didn't quite come prepared in the shoe department to Oregon. And this is what it looks like outside. So we're gonna venture to like Sportsman's Warehouse or Walmart or somewhere to find me some shoes. And so I don't freeze to death. Do you guys wanna go shopping? Woohoo! Back in the truck. Yeehaw! We're not gonna be in here quite as long as we were yesterday. Got it. Got it. Now, so we're ahead of schedule, which when Michelle's involved, that doesn't happen. We're five minutes early. Yeah, five whole minutes. And I'm pretty proud of myself. We're gonna go ahead and go into Sportsman. Good ones, or do you want? Do I want good? I thought all of these are good ones. They have size nine. They're not gonna have my size. Oh. Oh yeah. Check them. Now you gotta run in them to make sure they feel good on your feet. I gotta run to make sure I can jump high. That's right. And run fast. Sold. We do have $38.16 off today. If I use it. <laughs> yes. She already used your points, Paul. I tried to tell her not to, but she used all my my points. Up. <laughs> Talk to that guy in the store. He gets a sticker. I'm gonna explain to you guys the reason that we're in Oregon right now. This cool lady named Mary Pat got hold of me and said she had a project that I might be interested in. And I told her I was probably interested. What was it? She sent me some pictures. It's a 42 Chevy truck that her husband started building. Well, actually someone else started building it first, then her husband bought it. It's a rat rod. And he started building it for a while, got it to where it'll run and drive, but it's not put together. And then he passed away and it's been sitting in her shop for four years. Hasn't had anything done with it and she wondered if I wanted to finish this truck. We're in Oregon, we're going to pick this truck up and we're gonna finish it. I'm excited, it's gonna be a fun project. I like building hot rods just as much as I like building rock crawlers. So we're driving along, we spent 14 hours of driving, we're about to her house, we're gonna go check this thing out. We're super excited to finally like meet her in person. Here we go. Come here. Oh, <laughs> good to meet you. Yeah. Nice to meet you. This has been fun. Yes. This well, is Mary Pat. She called us, what, like a month ago-ish? Something uh, like that? A couple of months. Yeah, it's been yeah. a couple Senate, months Senate in about, the works. Send an email about... And Paul's yep. been super stoked ever since. Cool. Yeah. He got off the phone with you and he's like, 
I just talked to the coolest lady. <laughs> so tell us about this truck a little bit. A friend of ours pieced it together from stuff that he found. And so David kept bugging him, Dorn, let me know if you're gonna sell that truck. Dorn, let, you know, and finally Dorn's like, okay, I gotta move some stuff out of the place anyhow. I'll sell you the truck. So David got it. David was working on it, diagnosed with cancer. So the truck's been sitting for four years. He did get it to the point to where he could drive it down the driveway. Well, that's cool. Yeah, he started it. So yep, well, it was I'll finish his, it for his dream. sure. You know, I walk out there and I just get teary eyed, you know, cause it's just, they're sitting there, the truck just not doing anything. And that's not what David wanted. And I just thought, you know, maybe I should just send him a, an email and see if, you know, if they're interested or if they know anybody that would be interested. And so then talk to Paul and, and so here you are. Well, let's go check this thing out. All right. I'm excited. I've been, I've been excited for a long time. There she is. Oh yeah, this thing's cool. What do you think, Dark? I think it looks pretty cool. Look at this, it's got the old school shocks on yeah. it. Yeah. That is so cool. It's got a 700R in it. Man, he had this thing so close. Yeah. He really did. All day long, Dark. Uh, I'll yeah. do that for him. He'll, uh, he'll love you forever. How long has it been since this thing ran? Well, David passed away four years ago, so four years. Four years since it's... Since it's been fired up. I think the now. proper thing to do is to fire this thing up to load it. Hey, look at that. That was before, That's it, was, the exact before same it was running. Tranny deal my Jeep has. Oh yeah, same setup <laughs> as your Jeep. Yeah, it's got fluid in it. Cool. It'll start, it'll get on the trailer. The battery's under the seat is where he mounted that. So yep. That's what I need stuck. So that we can wrap up yeah, right found up. a chair. Do you want me to rub your ears some more? Careful, that's a mess. <laughs> okay. So don't get snappy glasses in there. Check out the old tire. I know, that thing's <laughs> sweet. It's an old school tire machine, but it's air operated down here. It has an air ram in it. <laughs> it reminds me so yeah, much of your dad's moment. stuff. Oh, yeah, this is. He's stuff got stuff everywhere. hanging on the walls everywhere, just like this well, that. Stuff you can't throw away because it's good well, and you're yeah. going to use it. <laughs> this is how I grew up. We couldn't actually pull anything in the shop, so he had those tools in shop and we had to work on it out in front of the shop. It's awesome. Somewhere he's going to use it. So. No, I, this is cool. All right, this seat is hinged, evidently. Oh, there's the battery right there. Cool. You want some starting plug? Something probably. Maybe. Maybe that thing has not got enough juice in it to crank enough. it over. If they don't have some juice, they don't that's, like to. That's pretty hard to get. Well, they don't like to activate. Yeah. There you go. There she there goes. We go. There. We're just do, just been setting for a few years. Yep. usually come to them a friend. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Ball peen hand. Tap on that thing a little and we'll get down to that. What does it do to tap on it? I get stuck. Doesn't have a fuel shut off on it anywhere, does it? Mm -hmm. We ought to look and see if there's something coming out the bottom of that tank. Nope, no valve, so I'm not picking up the oil. Not 
picking up fuel. Fuel pump's dead. Let's push this out and then we can. And we got some more room. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that does look like Landon's. That's good. Pretty cool little truck. It is a pretty cool. I can't wait truck. to get it put together. Now I'm torn. Why? Because I have a 42 Chevy that I was gonna make the tow truck into. But this it has all the fenders and everything that this needs. I have the parts to finish this truck. First thing, we gotta get it running, go do some burnouts in it, make sure that it's proper. So this, this, uh, is this dog is taken to Dar. Yeah, we're bobs. <laughs> Are you gonna want it moved to drive it up on? i will decide we might just push this thing up on. We gotta get her to show us her pigs. She has like a 500 pound pig. You got a 500 pound pig? pig? That's awesome. <laughs> That's pretty cool. <laughs> Sit. <laughs> Sit. You ain't got oh. Sit. Sit. Good girl. <laughs> That's a good girl. <laughs> it's not about speed, it's about quality. Quality. <laughs> quality. These girls push this up on there all by themselves. <laughs> so much. <laughs> Regular is too hot for me. You don't even know. I can't wait to build this truck. Oh, me too. Uh, I can't wait to see. And there is a fuel shut off underneath. Oh, there is? Well, there well, is. That, well, you could have drove it up. Yeah, after I, you can see it from now. Now you can see it. Uh, Tell us a little bit about your husband. So, David and I met in 1975. We lived in the Bay Area, down in California. He lived in a tract house with paved streets and a cul-de-sac and he drove a fancy little sports car. I had a farm <laughs> and horses and you know dirt, total opposite. <laughs> we got married in 77, moved up here in 77 forever. He's always been into cars and if it had oil and grease and gasoline that was his thing. We had, we called it Snowmageddon, the winter, that winter, 2016-2017. Yep. He'd been losing weight. Finally, he went to the doctor, got diagnosed with lymphoma. He'd been several times hospitalized for extended periods, like 16, 17 days at a time. And, you know, they just finally sent him home, 1st of November, and he, and he died fifth of November so yeah life's pretty fragile it's pretty fragile it really is yeah. and you know you've got yep. to just take every day that you have as a blessing it just turned 71 in June and died in November exactly. well the fact that you're entrusting us to something that's so special awesome. to you it really is, is very well, special to I'm us I'm tickled that you guys were even interested in it so long. yeah so if you know anybody um I've also got a an old car that not just the truck but about an old car that is probably going to be looking for a new home i'm always Never looking for a car what what car are we looking at well it's an old car um i took my original driver test in it and yeah we should probably look at that car it's pretty <laughs> dirty right now but uh you want to see what i'll show it to you how long has it been since it ran i started it probably two years ago started it backed it out let it sit there and run for a while and drove it back in shut it off David used to drive it, took it to the car shows, um, but I'm never going to drive it again. I drove it to high school, so. Oh 
my gosh. I'm in love right now. <laughs>